Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin, an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. And I'm Adam, former indoor player and coach, current beach volleyball coach, and most importantly, Sarah's husband. My hair's a little wild today. It's been a rough day. Not just like in the living sense, just in the hair sense. It is, it's just done its own thing. And you know what? Who am I to get in its way? So we're just gonna deal with that. Adam, however, got a haircut today. He's looking slick. Haircut, shave, feeling like a new person after the holiday. Ooh, okay. Um, last episode, guarding your back. No, I don't. Karasuno defeated Date Tech. Noya came up huge at the end of that play. Not even that play, that match I meant. Um, he had that cover to the back line that everybody thought was down. And then he had the iconic foot cover after a saw he just about got housed. And he also had the pregame speech, which he nailed. He had the pregame speech too. Noya was basically the MVP, superstar, start to finish. Um, so everybody's feeling good. The prediction's still alive. Adam's prediction is still alive. If you forgot, and you probably can't forget because I keep reminding you, what was your prediction? That they would win their first two matches and they would lose this one coming up. Yes, and at the end of last episode, we found out that they will be playing Seijo and my least favorite character, Oikawa. You, that's your least favorite character? You know how much I hate him. We almost got divorced over this in episode seven. I didn't know Go you... back to episode seven and check out our domestic disturbance. I, <laughs> I almost said dispute, but then I took it up a notch and made it a disturbance. I didn't realize he was your least favorite person. I detest him. That's an unpopular opinion based off all of the YouTube statements I've read. Yes, and everybody coming to Adam's defense about what a great guy Oikawa is. I, guess I don't making, like him. I guess I'll be making my own judgment this episode. Might be another domestic. <laughs> okay, today we are watching season one, episode 19 of Haikyuu called Conductors. Any idea what that alludes to? I have two thoughts. It's either coach versus coach about what adjustments and things they'll make, or, and probably most likely, setter versus setter. That's, because really, both of them are, well, from what you can see, Oikawa is a stud, based on what everybody, off what everybody says, and... Wow, okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and Kageyama is the up-and-comer, and everybody's impressed with his accuracy and whatever, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. I'm actually curious how he does facing somebody who is like quote unquote better than him. Like I wonder if that's gonna play into his mentality at all. So I'm curious to see kind of that. Kageyama's stone cold. Yeah, well, I mean he has been, but you, he's, he's young, he's a first year, it's the first tournament. You're playing against somebody who is the quote unquote best in your position. It, it'll be interesting to see what the internal monologue is, what the, you know, what he looks at if the team is not winning, how he responds. I, I'm curious to see. We will see. Okay, here we go. Episode 19, Conductors, coming now. Exactly, see? Okay. 
同じ曲同じ楽団でも指揮者が変われば音が変わる、うん I just want to say, say what you guys want about about Oikawa, but that last little still frame of him grinning, he looked really bad, really terrible. <laughs> okay. So Adam was right. He said coaches or setters. Setters. Isn't that a great analogy? Oh, 100%. You, th this is what I always say. It's what I always say and he's claiming it as his own. Is that accurate? Let me hear what he's gonna say first. <laughs> if, you have, if you have a great team of hitters with a mediocre setter, that team is probably going to be average. If you have decent hitters with a great setter, they just elevate the team. Is that, that's your thing? We've been married for so long, that's just my thing now. It's our thing that's now. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, continuing on. <laughs> Hair's a little flowy. I'm so disturbed that you're liking him so much. Just quit it. Yeah. I don't really know him yet. I'm liking him mostly just to bother you. I know. That's you. They're not playing. <laughs> no, they're playing them tomorrow. It's two matches today. Mm. <laughs>
That's what happens when you're so bad that nobody takes footage of you. Nobody has any photos of you, no footage of you, because they were too busy filming the other team that they thought was going to win. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah. I mean, RIP to their egos. Yeah. <laughs> You're just so excited and then it just doesn't happen for you. And everybody, I don't, everybody loves being on TV. Oh, do you? Not really. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, really, I really don't actually, but. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> they were so excited to see themselves on TV though. Yeah. But, and I, I'm just being a jerk. You're right. People do have this fascination with being on TV. Being on TV and getting free stuff. Getting free stuff. People love getting free stuff. Ooh. I actively avoid getting free stuff. Because I'm a minimalist and I don't like stuff. Don't like the clutter. Don't like the clutter. But you really like getting free stuff if you like it. Oh, if I like the product and I'm going to use it, give me all the free stuff. But like random free stuff, like if I'm at a... You're, you're a convention or something and there's like a whole bunch of booths, I am not the person walking from booth to booth gathering things. You're selective with the free stuff you get. Yes, yeah, so I just want to make sure that I will use it so it will no longer be in my house. Fair. Simple. <laughs> Something Adam is well versed in. <laughs> ああ、伊達高専は変人速攻が発音 まずはオイカーのあのサーブを<笑> え、こんなよ。First of all, that is why he's in the bro house. That analogy to the first sip of beer, maybe one of the favorite things I've heard in this show. 
baby. That was fantastic. Your first win. You're doing that. It, I'm it's getting teary-eyed thinking it's, about it's that. A <laughs> perfect analogy. Perfect analogy. <laughs> it is good, actually. <laughs> it is amazing how much your words can impact people. Did you see those boys' reaction after he was done his little speech? Yeah. Like, hey, I'm sure you were scared of the block today, but guess what? You fought hard. It's going to be the same thing tomorrow. We can do it. <sighs> yeah, I, I really liked how he didn't... He has a good read of the team. Like, he didn't brush aside their feelings. You know, he... He knew they were a little, a little intimidated. This was a big win, kind of a surprise. They weren't supposed to win. So you're feeling good. You're a little nervous. I like how he addressed like all of that with them and then said, hey, here's what we're going to do. We've done it before, like you said. I, Well done. He validated their feelings. Yeah. He yeah. made them feel safe and okay with being nervous or emotions that might be undesirable. Well, and I think that it's interesting. I feel like, let me make sure I say this right. In, I think sometimes in guy sports, that is like less okay, where your coaches are more like hammering on you and saying, hey, it doesn't like, you're gonna win, you're gonna win, you're gonna win. There, there would be, at least in my experience playing, less of like, that's okay, or talking about that. I feel like it's a little, that happens a little more in female sport in general. Um, but I, I like that he did that and he addressed what everybody was feeling and now they're confident. And he's gonna prepare and wash that bed. Okay, I will say. <laughs> you already know what I'm gonna say. Yes, yes, so I'm getting ahead of it. I will say, 
And I said this on my first watch through, go back and check if you don't believe me. Fact check. I did say I 100% respected Oikawa watching video, preparing for the match and treating Karasuno with respect. I definitely, that edged him a little bit up. And in, then his glasses. And then his glasses take him to a tent. Um, so what exactly don't you like about him? Is it the, the schwaga? I don't know. Can you not tell? Like, look how he acts. He's a little slime ball. He's 15. Adam! Suga's 15, six, no, he's the same age as I call it. Suga's the same age. Daichi's the same age. Like, all these guys. He is just a slimy, arrogant, you know, yeah. I, I'm trying to think. No, oh, you know no. what? Stop playing devil's advocate for me. You know you see it. No, no, I'm, I'm not. It. I'm not disagreeing. He he enjoys the female attention. Not just that, but he's just like thinks he's better than everybody else. Yeah, and he's cocky and arrogant, and I have no time for that. Fair enough. Or do you not see that behavior? And I'm crazy. No, I, I don't. I'm not disagreeing with you with the behavior. I I just don't. I just think. I I, I just think that's a normal thing for a okay. teenage boy to be that. Who's, you know who's that good? Here we go. You're making that statement. You are not allowed. If you say one thing about any player in this whole thing and not and not liking them, I'm not invalid saying, because they're all teenagers. I'm not. I'm not saying I approve of that behavior or I like that behavior. I'm just saying success does things to people, and he's successful, and he's good looking, and he lacks life experience. That's all I'm saying. So Adam can't say a bad thing about anybody in this show because of all of the above. Okay, let's keep going. No, you're, it's frustrating. I'm, uh, it's completely valid to have characters that you like and don't like. I, t I totally agree. I totally agree. I, have, I, don't, I haven't seen enough of it to not like him or like him. So of all the characters, who is the least agreeable or most disagreeable? I can think of two right off the top of my head. I'm, I'm gonna get the name wrong. The, I mean the Karasuna middle. I knew you were gonna say him, Tsukushima. Tsukushima. Do you disagree with that? No, he was on my list. Yeah. At this point in time, the characters that we have seen, the two most disagreeable individuals to me are Tsukushima and Oikawa. Okay, fair enough. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disagree with you. I'm just surprised given his, his approach to performance and Whatever that. There's a lot of great athletes out there that I do not like yeah, as people. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, let's keep, let's keep going. <laughs> I'm getting fired up. I need a break. <laughs> and their banner is cocky. Oh, that I agree with 100%. He's the owner. It's perfect for a fault. <laughs> you don't know where it's going now, do you?
That's a douchey. Thoughts on Oikawa's comments to everybody after they hit? I, I mean, I like that he's talking to his hitters. That comment about the girls was, to me, so, I'd say I would have more latitude with somebody if their actions are only about them, where I would dislike somebody would be and how they treat their teammates. That's, that's where I would kind of draw the line. I think I would have a little more patience for a little swagger and things like that, but I don't know, that comment to his teammate was douchey. I don't know how to say that. Yeah. Um, this just popped into my head when I was watching the hitting line. Maki, the first one who hit, and he was like, hey, great swing. And he was like, that reminded me of Lydia. <laughs> okay? <laughs> when I played with Lydia. <laughs> when I played with Lydia, if you don't know Lydia, you're missing out. She's our editor, everybody. Um, the one that you all love. The one that we love. Um, when I played with Lydia in Shanghai, she was very young and she was a little nervous to speak English. So when I would say something to her, sometimes she would just do a symbol and run away. So <laughs> that reminded me of her. Lydia, I love you. Here we go! I wonder if they have good middles. Well, we saw some of them in the practice match. Kendaichi, onion head, mm. turnip head. I honestly don't remember the practice match much. The Date Tech theme song was way better. Yes. Yes! folks. What did he like about that? He, 
he's making it all about him, but saying all the right things to his team. To me, it just seemed uh, insincere. But that's what, I, it's like, he's walking onto the court and it's like, I'm here, I'm out front. I believe in all you guys. I, I, don't, I don't know. It, I, I agree with you, it just didn't seem genuine. Takeda is a treasure that we must protect at all costs. Conceit, not conceit, confidence. That's a fine line. Oh, he is the greatest. Let's see what happens. あの、ジョーさんの空気が変わった気がする。試合前のいつもの一言、こいつが言うと、ただの冗談のようで、あるいは脅迫のようでもあって、だがこればかりは何の裏もない言葉だと知っているから、皆もまた戦局でこいつを
like they're constantly going at each other. Like he thinks he's so good, so the hitters are like, it's not, it's not where it needs to be. Like, I'm, I'm still trying to get a read on the team, like as a whole of how they, of how they function. And back to your question before, there, there is something I think to be said for consistent behavior. It's whether it's good or bad is on a human level is one thing how it affects your team dynamics is another thing. Yeah. So, I thought the coach's insight was interesting. I had the I had the same initial reaction like he doesn't mean it, but seeing his coach's point of view on it was interesting. across the net and walked away. But he kind of did. You well, we don't know, Adam, because you did no. the premature pause. He had the side eye. Yeah. That's all you need. We need to see the follow up. That's all, that's all that was needed. No, I'm not even better. The stuff and stare. Turn. Don't even. I don't, I don't think, I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. That was so nice. It was, so, Iwakawa, I, did I get it? Adam's kind of dyslexic, which is why the I and the O were reversed. It's Oikawa. <laughs> I was close. If I'm getting one out of two syllables right, that's a win for me. Just so you guys know, if the reversal happens, it's diagnosed by me. I'm not a professional. Keep that in mind. <laughs> it's based on daily experience. Um, he's he's flashy. He's up. He's hitting the ball. He's like everything is about drawing attention to it. And that response of just, I don't need to do that. I'm just going to score and just, I, I love everything about that. Oh, I love everything. And I'm okay with just the side. Eye, Cause everybody knows that like, to me, you can, you can celebrate and you can whoop it up and whatever you want. If he just, the, that response and walking away like it's no big deal says says it all to oh, me. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. First three points of the game, all set or driven. Okay, I don't want to press that pause button just five seconds early. <laughs> like, My bad. I had it's I had osmosis. To. He's I getting it to. from me. I had to. Okay, hold on. Let me fast forward here. Okay, added little twist. He threw his words right back at him. I also love that. <sighs> you love the psychological warfare. So here's here's the thing. <clears throat> I can get behind like trash talking and all that stuff, but as, and as I've gotten older, my philosophy is 
you don't necessarily have to instigate it, but if somebody's going to come, you can throw it right back at them. Oh, yes. And that is... 100%. I, I love that response. If I'm coaching, I'm going to run on the floor and give them a hug <laughs> and tell them that was amazing. I, uh, yeah. I'm all for it. And I was emotional. I can hear it in his I'm breath. I'm all for it. I can hear it in his breath. Um, okay, so maybe Adam saw a little taste of why I detest call. Maybe he did, and I think he did. I, I totally get where you're coming from. I think I'm going to <clears throat> reserve my judgment until I know the team a little bit better. Like for me, I want to see how he treats his teammate. I think I'm, I will be a little more lenient with personal behavior um, than, than you are. Which I, th I think is probably relatively true to course. But the thing for me is how how does he treat his teammates? And how and, and partly like how he treats his opponents. There's there's a way you can do it that's like part of the game, and there's and there's a way that is <clears throat> I don't inappropriate's not the right word, but like over the Personal. top and unnecessary. Alright. Can't wait to see how this continues. Me too. Um, we know how you guys feel about Oikawa, but let us know. Do you hear what we're saying? And you have to take into consideration that I haven't seen anything. Do else. not give anything away. Because there's been a lot. Gentlemen. There's been a lot of people who are like, "Oh, you'll like him when you hear the backstory or the whatever." No. You gotta, this conversation needs to yes. be about here and now right now when you are on your first watch through watching oikawa act a fool what were you thinking that is a 90s reference i like to throw in the little references that age me drastically every now and then there was one <laughs> act, a fool. act a fool wait is there a little preview <clears throat> no i mean it's not a bonus scene Oh, it's about the next it's episode. It's about okay, the next okay. episode. Don't worry, you guys. I always check. Um, let us know your thoughts, but like I said, no spoilers. We would be so excited if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and we're going to continue. We're going to get more than three points next episode, I think. Maybe we won't, but we love it anyways. Anyways, we will see you guys next time for episode 20. Love ya.